before we get into this video please subscribe to my channel click the bell notification button and please like this video as well hey everybody welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a girl talk video because i don't think i've ever actually done one on my channel before so i feel like it's perfect time to film one because you guys have been asking for some more videos and i now have an uploading schedule which is Tuesday, Thursday and a Saturday at 5pm so please set your alarms notified of when I upload a video on those three days. But I will be doing a girl talk video today because I did ask for some girl talk questions on my YouTube community page and I did get quite a few and I cannot wait to read them and answer them today in this video. But before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up. I, I want to get a like goal of 30 likes on this video so if you are watching please leave a thumbs up it is free all you have to do is make a youtube account if you do not have one already please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel i'd love to hit huh? i would love to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of april so please make that happen please subscribe because i'd be wanting to hit 4,000 subscribers for the longest time but without further ado let's go on the video i'll load up the questions on my phone um i'm actually waiting on the parcel from Hermes. And I had to text my Hermes her delivery person because she left a number on there so like I had to message her and she's gonna deliver the parcel today. Something something is crossed I'll be able to answer the door and I'll be able to listen out for his parcel because I really need it because it's for Scott's birthday actually but um yeah I don't even know what I'm saying. But let's find the question. So first question is when did you start your period? So I actually started my period when I was 13 years old. I was actually on holiday when I started my period as well but I think for me I was quite happy to get my period. I do not know why because I was young and it was the start of the worst thing ever to happen because having your period can be very painful sometimes and are very annoying especially if you're on holiday and you want to go in the pool or the sea or something and you cannot go because you're on your period but yeah um i was 13 years old so i think i was kind of at the average age to start your period so yeah 13 a year old so i've been having my period for like six years now which is a very long time to be honest and i've actually came on my period today guys and honestly I have had the worst cramp today, I've, I've took like an ibuprofen, I've literally, it's just been the worst thing ever, awful, I hate having cramps, who else hates having cramps on a period, it's just awful. Next question is, is the pill worth the side effects, so if you guys do not know, I am actually on the pill, it's called Rejevidon or something like that, and it's a 21 day pill, so like I take it for a few weeks and then I have like a week's break and then it's in the cycle pretty much and the pills do have a lot of side effects so I used to be on a pill called the Cerevetti and for the whole time I was on that pill um, I had constant bleeding like it was awful it was the worst thing ever you had to get off it because I was losing a lot of blood to be honest the side effects have not been too bad for the first few months I will be a bit like in my own kind of like zone I was a bit like spaced out all the time but now I seem to have mood swings I have been very emotional I let you cry like a baby almost over anything if a sad song is on the radio I'll probably cry if you're watching like a sad film or video on on YouTube or Netflix something I will cry it's like I've been so emotional lately also my cramps in my period have been the worst ever like before I ever got on the pill with my cramps I hardly had them but ever since I've, I've got on the pill they've literally been the most painful thing ever and I'm so bloated and on this pill I have been eating so much more food I have been putting on a little bit of weight as well I think the only the main ones are mood swings, emotional, very hungry and that's it so it is kind of worth it but like at least I'm not having a baby because I could not deal with having a baby at this age right now. At what age do you think is the right time to get into a relationship? This question is a hard one because everyone will be different but for me having the right age is probably now. Um, obviously this relationship with Scott is my third like relationship and um, my two previous ones I was I was only in them for like a couple of months and those people weren't 
right for me. I think sometimes your first a couple of boyfriends could not be right for you or get with someone and they will be perfect for you and you will be happy with them you could live a very happily ever after with them so it all depends on the person who you're with and you as a person as well I think because I'm a bit older now I've matured and grown up a little bit as well and definitely found the right person with Scott because he is so sweet uh, he is just amazing to me and I do love him a lot <laughs> I'm joking um, does the first time hurt for me, no, but I know that for some people it may hurt. I know that there's a whole like thing of like, oh, first time it's gonna hurt, or I'm really scared about like they're doing it for the first time. But I think it's very, what's the word? What's the word that I'm trying to think of? I think it's very over exaggerated. You know, it all depends on the boy and on the girl. You know, it all depends on that to be honest. I'm really sorry if you guys can see like awful bags under my eyes. I've been up since about 8 o'clock and I've had a load of college falls and I'm really tired so I tried to keep awake hence why, I, hence why I did put some makeup on but these bags are literally like creasing and it's awful so yeah. Please ignore my under eye bags. I am very tired and I will be getting an early night tonight I'm just like... <laughs> Anyway, the next question is, I have small boobs and I'm insecure about it. Um, girl, same. I have tiny boobs. I think I'm a bra size 30 or a 32A and I have always been so insecure about it, especially in school when like all the girls were hitting puberty and everything and like a lot of girls had a bigger chest and I used to compare myself like, oh my god, how come I'm really flat chested? Like, you know, these girls have, like, bigger boobs and everything. And I was just like, oh, my God, this is awful. But do not think about it. Like, honestly, I know a lot of people who are, like, the same. And everyone has their insecurities. But I think having small boobs is a good thing. Because, like, you don't have to wear a bra around the house, really. You'd be able to leave the house without a bra on if you really wanted to. I loved I have done that on a few occasions, I will not lie, but I do know what you mean because having small boobs can put you down a lot. Everyone has their own insecurities. I am very insecure about my stutter as well, but it has been improving lately. I don't know if you guys have noticed in a few of my videos, but I am talking a lot better now and I do feel a lot happier in myself. Um, I don't know the way it's improved all of a sudden. But yeah, it's improving, which is a good thing. But yeah, next question. Honestly, a touch ID on this phone does never work. Like, hello, <laughs> come on. There we go. What age did you? Uh, what age did you lose your virginity? I was seventeen, so I think I was like a good age to lose it. Like I know that there are some people who lose it at like the age of fourteen or fifteen, which I think is young for me personally like my sister did that at her age like now I'd be like oh my god what are you doing but I suppose like everyone is different and for me 17 was the right age you know you could be older you could be younger honestly there is so much pressure on on losing it and I don't know why people put others under pressure because they have not lost it and I just think how could you do that to someone like how crap would that make, make that other person feel you know what I mean but yeah for me 17 was like a, an okay age I, I think next question is have you ever been cheated on yes in my first relationship when I found out I was a little bit upset but then I kind of moved on and forgot about it I did break up with him because I was just like you're not worth my time you know I think I was 17 at the time and it was the best thing I did to be honest and it hasn't really affected me much really because like I was only young it was two years ago you know but when meeting people I've always thought oh are they going to be messaging other girls while I'm with them which did happen with the previous boyfriend I was with as well and I broke up because of, of that reason so I always find out in the end and you will know if something is not right 
definitely. It does a body count matter for a boy? Say if I had been going out with s someone who had been with like 10 plus more girls, I would be like put off that. I'd be thinking, no. But I think if you slept with like a few people, then it isn't too bad. That is my opinion personally. But I think if it's like even over five, I would be thinking, really? <laughs> you know? But yeah. The next question is, is the discharge normal? Oh my god, yes. I have seen so many questions about this and I want to address this because it is normal for a girl to get a discharge. Like, some girls will get more than others and it's completely normal to get a lot or hardly any at all. It's our hormones, it's our body, like, cleaning itself out. Um, for me, especially on the pill, I have got a lot of it lately. It can be kind of gross at times, I will not lie. I go through stages where I have a lot and I hardly have anything but oh my god guys it is normal. We need to normalise this because if we never had any to discharge then our down there area would be pretty smelly and it is pretty disgusting so yeah but it's, it is completely normal to have like a lot of discharge or hardly any or in the middle or whatever. You know, it is completely fine. Next question is, my boyfriend is cheating on me, what do I do? If your boyfriend is cheating on you, the best thing to do, like I said earlier, break up with them. It may be hard to break up with them if you love them, but trust me, you do not want to be with someone who is going to go behind your back, talk to other girls, be with other girls, and make you feel insecure and unhappy in a relationship. The best thing to do is break up with them and move on, live a happy life and then honestly you will find someone who loves you for who you are and who and who will never cheat on you. It can be hard I know but if you need to message me my Instagram is here I will help you out. Next one is I'm scared of starting my period. I feel as if it is normal to be scared to start your period as it's um a big change for your body but don't be it'll only feel as if you're having a wee or something really but you can't control it if that makes any sense i don't know if it does but if you are scared be prepared keep a couple of pads with you in a handbag or a pocket or something and if you do start you'll be prepared i know that a lot of girls are under pressure if all the friends have started and they're the only one who hasn't Start the period as if you're like the odd one out, but honestly, once you start your period, it will not stop and you will have that until you turn old, really, and then it'll end again. But don't be scared because every woman has a period and we all have to put, and we all have to put up with them, and it's life, really. <laughs> Do you think being in a relationship when there is a big age gap is bad? Hmm. This is hard because, say, if a 15 year old was going out with a 20 year old, it would be illegal, wouldn't it? Because then they're under the age, if you know what I mean. If you were like 28 and you were going out with like a 35 year old, it'd be okay. But I do know of a few people who were like 18 years old and they go out with like a 30 year old, and I do think, like, oh my god, 12 years age gap is a lot but then all parents have a big age gap or a small age gap so you know I think it's okay to have a big age gap as long as you're not under the age and the other person could be taking advantage of you so do not let anyone take advantage of you especially if you are a minor. Do you regret your last relationships? I would say that everything happens for a reason and looking back I do because those people weren't people who were truly right for me and I didn't love them really to be honest I'm not gonna lie I was only in a relationship with them for two months and yeah but then again everything in your life shapes you as a person and it's definitely made me grow up as a person as well so I kind of do regret it but I'm kind of thankful that I've been able to move on on to better things aka Scott because he honestly if I hadn't 
or broken up with the previous person. I would have had never been in a relationship with Scott, I don't think, and I could never imagine my life without him now. Like, oh my god, it'd be so lonely. What the hell? Would you ever get an abortion? Ooh. I don't know if I've ever thought about this, you know. Let me have a little think because th this is quite like a controversial topic, isn't it? Right, so if I was to get pregnant now, I'm 19, so I am a, a very young still, I am aware. And no, I am not planning on having kids before you ask. Um, I think the perfect, I think the perfect age for me would be like 24 to maybe have a first kid at the at the earliest anyway. I don't know if I ever would get an abortion. I only would if there was like a medical reason and it would affect my health or the baby's health or say if I really couldn't like cope or something but I think I'd keep it if I was healthy and financially stable as well you know I would hate to bring up a kid where I could never fully provide for them do you know what I mean but yeah um it's quite a confident it's quite a controversial, I can't even say the word, it's quite a controversial topic to talk about as I know that like some religions are against it but yeah I suppose if you have your reasons then go for it but I don't know if I ever would it's really hard actually. Final question is would you ever get the implant so if you don't know what the implant is it's basically like a metal a thing in your arm like where it will stop you from having babies. I've watched a lot of videos online of them getting removed or putting in the arm and honestly I am absolutely horrified Um, so no I do not think that I could ever get the implant which is because it looks very gruesome and I would hate the thought of having something stuck in my arm for like a very long time Oh no, I could not. I do know a few people who have them and have been completely fine with them having them in their arm but for me personally I don't think I could just because I don't know especially in school there was a couple of people in my year group who had them and oh it was visible in the arm and oh it made me feel really uneasy so I don't think I ever could. So everybody this is the end of my girl talk video. If you guys have enjoyed this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up and if you guys would like to see a part two of this video please make sure to leave a comment down below and also please subscribe to my channel because obviously you know what I want to do. I want to get to my goal of 4,000 subscribers so please click the button. It takes two seconds to click the button or even less so subscribe. Come on what are you doing? Come on subscribe please <laughs> but yeah we hope that you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you all in my next video bye